everyone, this is Priyanshu Chaudhary for SME Futures and here are the top stories from this week. The government has formed a committee to assess the auto industry's request to extend the production-linked incentive scheme to include some additional components, stated the Union Minister Mahindranath Pandey on Tuesday. When he was speaking on the sidelines of a conference on auto PLI, in response to the auto industry's requirement, the ministry has prolonged the duration of the PLI scheme for automobile and auto components by one year. Incentives will be granted based on determined sales over five consecutive financial years, commencing from the fiscal year 2023 to 24 to 2027 to 28. As of December 2023, rupees 13,037 crores invested, proposed 1.48 lakh jobs with 28,515 employed. India's growth outlook is highly promising and the banking sector has witnessed a notable recovery, as stated by the RBI governor Shakti Khan Das. Das emphasized the international confidence in India highlighting the country's macroeconomic stability and the financial sector resilience. The Indian banking sector is currently experiencing a period of strength, possibly one of its best in recent years. According to Das, the financial sector demonstrates high stability and despite global growth slowdown, the external sector remains robust. Additionally, India's service sector is on a growth trajectory, emphasizing that these positive indicators are not isolated incidents. Thus illustrated the regulatory architecture of both government and private sector banks, as well as non-banking financial companies as an example. Streaming videos without a SIM card or an internet connection would be soon possible for all the mobile users thanks to the potential realization of direct-to-mobile broadcasting. Information and Broadcasting Secretary Apoorv Chandra, while speaking on a broadcasting summit, has announced the trials of the indigenous D2M technology in 19 cities. Sankhya Labs and IIT Kanpur collaborated on the innovative direct-to-mobile broadcasting technology. Leveraging terrestrial infrastructure and public broadcaster assigned spectrum to transmit video, audio, and data signal directly to mobile and smart devices. D2M technology, capable of reaching over a billion mobile devices, offers transformative benefits. These include cost-effective data transmission, enhanced network efficiency, resilience and the potential creation of a nationwide emergency alert system. Google is reportedly cutting down a few hundred more jobs from its advertising sales team following the last week's layoff of nearly a thousand employees. Google's chief business officer mentioned in a memo that these cuts are a result of the changes made in the sales team's operations. This move is a part of an ongoing restructuring effort to enhance efficiency. Additionally, Google recently laid off workers in various departments, including hardware and central engineering teams. In a separate development, YouTube is said to be laying off at least 100 employees from its creator management and operations team, streamlining its business under dedicated central leadership. These were the top stories from this week. Keep tuned in to SME Futures every Friday for more such updates.